all of eastern Ontario was originally forested with large stands of maple, white cedar, white pine, and tamarack, as well as red pine wherever the soil was sandy. Other than trapping for the fur trade, little to no human development occurred and the area remained untouched until the end of the 18th century. This changed in 1805 due to the Napoleonic Wars and demand for lumber for England's navy and shipbuilding, resulting in a rapid growth of the logging industry in the Ottawa River Basin. By the mid-19th century, logging had reached its peak and the best stands of old growth pines had been cut to keep the lumber mills in Lemieux, Fournier, Lalonde, Peru, Riceville, and St. Isidore operating. Smaller trees were also harvested. Additionally, in October 1897, the remaining vegetation was burned in a brush clearing accident in the now abandoned ghost town of Grant. This fire consumed large swaths of land from the initial site in a southeastern direction, destroying the village of Castleman, which was still recovering from another devastating fire just six years prior. Much of this land thus became arable and suitable for agriculture, allowing Castleman to recover and rebuild. However, this left most of the country surrounding Grant as a bow sand desert. This complete disruption of the ecosystem caused serious problems. Rivers that had previously flowed year round became intermittent or dried up. Fires would burn out of control. The sandy soil eroded and certain animal and plant species completely disappeared while other species proliferated to the point of becoming pests. The area was then known as the Bourget Desert. To address the problems, a replanting project was initiated in the 1920s, spearheaded by Ferdinand La Rose, who was the agricultural representative for the counties of Prescott and Russell. In 1928, La Rose persuaded the Russell County Council to purchase 490 hectares, 120 acres, from private landowners for the reforestation in the Bourget Desert, and that same year, the first 40 hectares, 99 acres, were planted in red pine with Leo La Palme of Bourget as planting foreman. While the county owned the land, management was the responsibility of Ontario Department of Lands and Forests now Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. Additional land was purchased at a rate of about 400 hectares or 990 acres per year between 1945 and 1956. Tree planting continued through the following decades, increasing to about 1 million trees planted annually in the 1940s and 1950s. Initial plantings were mostly red pine, white pine, and white spruce. Popular birch and other deciduous trees were later added. By the 1970s, most of the land had been reforested and planting was reduced to about 200,000 trees per year. By 2016, more than 18 million trees had been planted and the first seedlings planted in 1928 had grown to about 27 meters, 89 feet, in height. In 2000, the management responsibility of the forest reverted to the county. In 1989, Leroux's Forest won the first Ontario's Forest of the Year Award, and in 2007, it was awarded Forest Stewardship Council Certificate. The 10,944 hectare 
127,045 acre forest, part of the 71 million hectares, 176 million acres of forest in Ontario, is named after Ferdinand La Rose and is owned and managed by the county. Recreational activities in the multi-purpose forest include hiking, mountain biking, snowshoeing and cross-country skiing, hunting and trapping, animal watching, and horseback, ATV, and snowmobile riding. The forest is also used for small-scale logging operations. The forest is the second largest man-made forest in southern Ontario and in 2011 was called an unappreciated world leader as an example of environmental sustainability. Based on the nearest climate station in Russell, the mean annual temperature in the La Rose Forest is 6.5 Celsius, 43.7 Fahrenheit, for the period of 1981 to 2010, up from 6.2 Celsius or 43.2 Fahrenheit for the period of 1971 to 2000. January is the coldest month of the year with an average temperature of minus 10.2 Celsius, 13.6 Fahrenheit, and July is the warmest month with a daily average temperature of 20.8 Celsius, 69.4 Fahrenheit. Annual rainfall is 789.2 millimeters, 31.07 inches, and snowfall is 191.8 centimeters, 75.5 inches, for a total precipitation of 981 millimeters, 38.62 inches. Snow cover at the end of January and February was 23 and 22 centimeters, 9 and 8.7 inches, respectively. La Rose Forest is a forested island in the mostly agricultural landscape of the St. Lawrence lowlands. It can be divided into three main ecozones, softwood plantings, red maple stands, and wetlands. These areas contain a large variety of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, insects, fish, vascular plants, and mushrooms. The most common animals include deer, beavers, moose, turtles, butterflies, and birds of prey. Soils are mostly acidic fine sands of the well-drained uplands. Imperfectly drained Rubicon and poorly drained St. Samuel series, all of which have a classic podzol appearance in undisturbed areas. As of April 2015, 673 different vascular plant species have been identified in La Rose Forest, including 77 regionally significant species, 8 provincially vulnerable or endangered species, as well as one critically endangered species in Ontario, the large purple fringed orchard. Additionally, 11 liverwort and 55 moss species are known to be present, of which six species are vulnerable in Ontario. The following are the predominant tree species in La Rose Forest. Broadleaf, about 30%. Ash-leaved maple, gray birch, poplar, and silver maple. Coniferous, about 57% of forest stands. Larch, red pine, white pine, and white spruce. The number of mammal species found in La Rose Forest is 29, including big game animals, moose, white-tailed deer, and American black bear. Other species include coyote, red fox, American mink, raccoon, snowshoe hare, and Canadian beaver. The number of moose dropped considerably in the 1990s and 2000s, whereas in 1994 the density of moose in La Rose Forest was 7 moose per 10 km squared, it had reduced to 2.2 per 10 square kilometer by 2007. 
In optimal conditions, Leroux's forest should be able to sustain more than four times as many moose. As of September 2016, 114 bird species have been observed in Leroux's forest, including 93 which were confirmed to breed in the forest. As of May 2015, 19 reptile and amphibian species have been observed, including blue spotted salamander, eastern redback salamander, eastern newt, gray tree frog, American bullfrog, green frog, northern leopard frog, wood frog, common snapping turtle, midland painted turtle, blandings turtle, eastern garter snake, and red bellied snake. As of September 2007, 506 fungus species have been found in Leroux's forest. As of September 2016, 70 species of lichens have been identified, of which two are regionally or provincially rare or significant. The preceding information was retrieved from Wikipedia on October 16, 2024. The title of the article is Leroux's Forest. The content in this video is licensed Creative Commons by SA version 4, attribution share alike. References for information provided in this video may be found in the video description below. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe if this is the type of content you think should be promoted more on YouTube.